try to make this as short and sweet as possible, but a couple things I want to uh, go over and discuss here. When I reviewed the old Comet 2x4, um, my long-term experience with it, um, some people have problems tuning it. Others said that, you know, when your meter's not working right, there's no way that can be the case. So, and other people just flat out said it's impossible to work and cover that type of spread. So, from like Ham 440 to GMRS in particular. Let's put this on a little analyzer and see what, uh, what it actually looks like. So, I'm going to clean off the antennas on the track, throw this up there, and see what it looks like on a V&A. Alright, so I threw the mag mount out there, the old one, because this is a UHF mount, and I'm using, I have a transition at NMOs. A couple of things about how you connect it. Here's a nano. Here's a little pigtail. I calibrated it at this point, and this is the beginning of the antenna system. Um, I had to use an adapter. You have to make it connect somehow. That will alter SWR reading just a hair. Also, different length pigtails here to adapt it will change the SWR reading as well. Alright, as you can see I'm doing 140 to 160 megahertz. This is sweep there. Alright, and I got this marker at 145.7 and it shows a 1.4 SWR looks like it bottoms out around 142 and I can move it. Oops, this doesn't like me moving it. Pretty sensitive. Alright. So 140, let's go 146, 4, we're looking at about 1.3 SWR. Let's go up to MERS. Um, what's that? 150, 18. Something like that. On well, that area, 1.5, and then up to 154 uh, and change. 154.4 is 1.5, it looks like as well. And it looks like it bottoms out at 143. Alright, well, let's change this out for UHF and see what it looks like. Again, I got to recalibrate it. I'm not going to uh, do that in this video because for, sake of, for a sake of time, I'm going to try to keep it short. All right, without <laughs> a whole lot of further ado, I got the scale set for 440 to 470. All right, and I got the little markers right at 465, and SWR is 1.349. Um, trying to get, get get away from reflection reflection there. Sorry. So it looks like the whole scale is under 1.75. Uh, looks like the band area, the ham band area, is one and a half to 175, and then down here in the GMRS territory. Let's see if we go to uh, 462. Uh, 1.5, 4624, 1.5, and then if we take it to 467, let's go 467, 7, 1.6, roughly. Perfectly uh, acceptable to me as far as, you know, 1.1, yeah, that's the holy grail, but for a wideband antenna, it Looks like it's pretty safe. Now, then again, like I said, these will change depending on the, the feed, the length of the coax, okay, the mount, the connectors, whatever you have to do, the adapters to make it, you know, fit. All that's going to play a role in, in messing with SWR. So each antenna installation is unique. All right, so a little bit more on the antenna installation. This is one half of the antenna, okay? This is one half. The other half of the antenna is whatever's mounted here. If it's a mag mount, then you know it's the roof of the vehicle or the trunk of the vehicle, whatever it's attached to. If it is, you know, drilled a drilled mount, if it's a lip mount, whatever, if it's on a rack, a rail, that is the other side of the antenna. That's why SWR is going to change 
dramatically for people because this is half of the antenna. This is actually four, you know, on UHF, this is four elements stacked collinearly, and that's where they get more gain. As an example, here is a UHF Yagi. This is one side of the antenna, this is the other. Okay, you have to look at the other half. In the equation, you just can't assume what my readings are going to be your readings. Or not, they're not going to be different. All that to say is um, the readings before with the uh, meter, just the SWR meter, it is different than the VNA. Could it be different? Could it be off some? Could be off. But the fact of the matter is, I was using different cables to connect to the SWR meter. Uh, so I can't say, say for sure how different they really are. Um, the different cable connectors may yield different readings. And that's the way that is. So I hope this is somewhat helpful in explaining why some people may get good numbers on this antenna, some may not. Have a good day.